have been looking for new ways to use my freeze dryer and I've decided to try something in today's video that is new and fun and I'm super excited about it. I have always thought it would be so fun to make my own spices. Something I've never done before and now that I have a freeze dryer, I can totally do it. I think it's gonna be super easy and I'm gonna take you guys along and show you the entire process from start to finish. The first thing I need is the food that I'm gonna turn into the spices. Let's get those. I am going to attempt to make onion powder, garlic powder, and some chili powder. Now, as usual, I am just kind of winging this as a little experiment and crossing my fingers that it all works out just lovely so that you guys can do the same thing at home. Basically, what I'm gonna do to prepare this is just peel the onion skins, roughly chop those for one of my trays, roughly chop up the peppers. The garlic is gonna be a bit of a beast to peel and get on the trays. So I'm just gonna start with one food at a time. I think we'll start with the peppers and then move on to the more <laughs> smelly stuff. The types of peppers I grabbed is just a bag of the mini multicolored peppers. I grabbed a poblano pepper and one jalapeno pepper. I thought this might be a fun blend to try in our chili powder. I don't like things too spicy, so I didn't want to get any really hot peppers, but I decided to do these two extras. So there's a little bit of spice besides just these sweet guys. I am first just gonna give these a rinse in the sink just to wash them. And the way I'm gonna chop them is I'm just gonna cut the stems off and just roughly chop them. I'm not worried about the um, seeds and stuff because at the end of this, we're just gonna pulverize everything into a powder. So I don't mind if the like, um, the white parts on the inside are there or the seeds and that kind of stuff. We'll do a little time lapse of my chopping. is my tray of peppers. They look so beautiful. I actually cannot wait to see what these taste like freeze dried. I'm super curious to know if they're like a good snack because I love eating just those mini sweet peppers on their own. I'm curious how they taste freeze dried. So I'll definitely be tasting that when they're finished also. Next, we're gonna tackle the onions. All I'm gonna do is peel them, rough chop them, get them on the next tray. If any of you have advice on not crying when cutting onions, please let me know in the comments if you have any special tricks because that is not something I figured out. My eyes always water up bad when cutting onions. Here's my onion tray. I'm probably gonna have room on my fourth tray to spread these out onto. They're piled a little high. I mean, it's probably fine, but I'll have some space to spread them out because. The garlic is not gonna take up an entire tray. Well, I don't think. Let's see, on to the garlic next. This is how far I got. The garlic is taking forever. You know what, I am remembering I have seen people buy at Costco big bags of frozen peeled garlic. It's the whole cloves, but it just comes in a big bag frozen. That is what I needed for this project. I do not think peeling every little piece of garlic to make garlic powder is gonna be worth the time. The other things were super easy to chop up and get ready. The garlic is taking forever, but Oh well, we're still gonna do it. I'm gonna finish it, but I have to run and go pick up my little kiddo from a birthday party. So we will resume when I return. Before I run out the door, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what we have 
ready to plant in our, well not really a garden, our um, flower beds in the front of our house. We bought some blueberries. Our other ones are out there. Berries grow really well here in Alaska. So we wanted to have our own. We haven't, we're not quite ready to plant them in the ground yet. We're gonna do that. The one other plant we we're gonna do are these tomatoes. We need to, um, we're gonna bury them in this little planter here and put a stake in it so that the tomatoes kind of grow up the vine. So that should be super exciting too. In Arizona, I gardened and always had a garden. I loved growing vegetables and food. I'm really missing my Arizona garden. So I'm hoping that the blueberries and tomatoes will at least give me my gardening fix. Did you have fun at the birthday party? Yeah. Show me your goodie bag. <gasps> Lucky. And I see pizza sauce on your face. <laughs> ah. Well, we are gonna get ourselves back home Back to chopping garlic to get it into the freeze dryer. Yay! Say yay! All right, my friends, here are what my trays look like. I divided the onions onto these two trays. Here's the garlic. I did not get through finishing all that garlic. I was driving myself crazy peeling all of those garlic cloves. If you do this, go find the peeled garlic at Costco. This, I don't think I would do again, but that's just because I'm lazy and don't have all the time in the world to sit here and peel garlic. If peeling garlic is one of your favorite things to do, totally do it. <laughs> anyway, I need to get these down to the freeze drying room and then show you our freeze dryer settings. Here is our freeze dryer. We're gonna go to customize. I'm hitting reset to get back to the fast, uh, standard settings. I'm gonna turn dry mode to fast. Extra dry time, I like to have a high amount of hours for in case it finishes in the night and I'm not ready to get it out. It'll just keep drying, which is a nice feature. So there we go. We're gonna hit save and start. And then just wait our 15 minutes before we can load up our beautiful trays. There's a very strong onion and garlic smell in this room. It's probably gonna stay around a while, so. Yay for me. Our 15 minutes is up, so we are ready to load up the veggies into the freeze dryer. First, I gotta shut the drain valve. Important step, you don't wanna forget. And then we're gonna just load these up. freeze this is gonna run the full freeze drying cycle don't know how long it's gonna take I am sure it'll be sometime tomorrow when it is finished so I will update you guys once we get there and let you know how long this all took to freeze dry after that we will do the process of turning these into powders to use for spices super exciting stuff <laughs> see you guys in a bit it is the next day our freeze dryer is ready the total amount of time this freeze dry for was 30 hours. I'm going to hit defrost so we start the defrost cycle and we will get these out of the freeze dryer. <laughs> to transport these upstairs to my kitchen, I'm just gonna put on my tray lids. Okay, I need to do this with two hands. Now let me take you up to my kitchen and I will show you how I'm going to turn these trays of freeze dried veggies into some spices. Before I move on to the next step, I just want to let everybody know that if you are interested in purchasing a freeze dryer, the month of May is the time to do it. You only have about 10 days left of their sale that they are currently running. And I have an affiliate link down in the video description below. You can click on it and that will take you to the Harvest Right website where you can shop for freeze dryers, 
accessories if you need any like tray lids or extra trays and things like that. You can purchase them from the Harvest Right website. If you use my affiliate link, I get a small commission from any sales that are made there. And I so appreciate when anyone shops with my link. It supports me and helps me be able to continue make these fun videos for all of you guys. So check that out if you are ready to purchase a freeze dryer. You won't regret it. To turn these lovely veggies into some spices powder form i am going to be using my little mini food processor food chopper i'm hoping that will do the job and then i'm just going to store them in some mason jars i need to get some cute little personal spice jars but i don't have those yet so we're just going to store them in mason jars let's get going i'm going to start with the chili peppers here you can see they almost feel like chips. And you know what? I said I was going to do a taste test. That's super good. I kind of want to save some of these just to have as a snack. I would definitely eat those as a snack. Those were great. But this I need to do in a few batches because this is pretty small. So I'm just going to buzz these up in here, transfer them to the jar. Here is the jar of all the crushed up chili powder. I actually needed to mix it together because I didn't quite do all the colors evenly, but doesn't that look so good? I am so excited to use this. I think this is going to be so good to season like pasta sauces with. This will be awesome to put in your taco meat for a like taco seasoning. This looks so good. I'm super stoked. Now we're going to do the onions. The onion almost feels like super light styrofoam. I think this is going to grind up just fine. This powdered perfectly and look how much I got this entire jar from just two trays of onions. That's awesome. Okay, and all I have left is the garlic. This still smells so strong and so garlicky. Let's see how far this small amount goes. Okay, here is the garlic powder. My little food chopper couldn't get the garlic completely powdered. There's a little bit of chunks in there, but it's not going to bother me. There, it's still very powdery, but there are some chunks. So once the little chunks get rehydrated, it'll be like minced garlic. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, but this smells very, very pungent, but very good. Well, here are my three spice jars. I've got the chili powder, the onion powder, and the garlic powder. I am super stoked about this. I chose these spices to recreate just because these are my three most used spices in my spice cabinet. So I thought it'd be so fun to make my own. The onion powder worked amazingly. I mean, those onions went really far to make this amount of onion powder. Now, whenever I need to use it, I can just open this baby up and use my own onion powder. The chili powder didn't go, I mean, I only had one tray. If I had two trays, this would be filled probably to about here. I would like to do another freeze dryer run and just fill it with all peppers and get a big jar of chili powder out of it. Onion powder, this is gonna last me a while. Garlic powder. You saw my frustration with the peeling of the garlic. I would go get the peeled frozen garlic from Costco and do that. That would be a home run for this. I Garlic powder is cheap enough at the store to where it wouldn't be worth my time to peel all that garlic to make the garlic powder. I'm still happy that I tried it and that it worked and I mean it's still pretty cool but for time, I would do the 
peeled frozen garlic from Costco. That wraps up our homemade spices video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, drop them down in the video comments and I will happily help you with whatever you need. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any freeze drying suggestions that you wanna see freeze dried, please drop them in the comments below. Happy to put anything on my list. I love new ideas for freeze drying. I just wanna show you this beautiful Alaskan sunshine we are getting today. I need to go water my blueberries. So I am gonna do that and I will catch you guys on the next freeze drying adventure. Bye.